Hi, I'm Kima Dumas. Welcome to another episode of the I Care Podcast. I want you to know that not only do we care for you, but God cares for you. Hey, would you do me a favor as we close out this week's sets of episodes? Would you like this video? Leave a comment on how God has been speaking to you. What places has he revealed to you uh, uh, about idolatry that you had to put down? And what have you picked up in who he is? Where is God moving in your heart? Who has he called you to intercede for and stand in the gap for? We want to know how these episodes are impacting you. And so you help us out by leaving your comments, leaving your uh, uh, experiences, leaving what God is doing in your heart by encouraging us. You, you literally encourage us by leaving comments. So we want to make sure that you like, comment, share this with a friend, and make sure that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. Now today, we're going to close out tonight by today by confronting something confronting the idols how do we confront idols how do we stand up against idols because we can talk about it all we want but we might not know how to confront the idols well we see as moses is coming out of the uh, off of the mountain he's able to confront the, the the idol and he throws two things at the idol and they break he has these two tables full of instructions and commandments from the Lord. And when he gets there, his anger is so hot that he throws them to, and breaks down the idol and tears it down and destroys it. So what does that tell us? That tells us that in order to confront idols, you have to be a carrier of the word. My God. In order to confront idolatry, you have to be solid in the word of God. You have to know the word of God because you won't confront. You, you can't even understand what he looks like unless you understand what he said. You can't understand what he looks like unless you understand his word. And so in order for you to understand that this is a false image that I'm conforming to, that I have to understand or have a relationship with the word of God. I have to have a relationship with Jesus. I have to have talked to them. So I have to be a carrier of the word of God. And so if I'm a carrier of the word of God, then I'll be able to identify the things that are not like him. I'll be able to identify the things that are lies. I'll be able to identify the things that are false truth. And then I can confront them by destroying those uh, imaginations, destroying those mindsets, destroying those thoughts, and replacing it with the truth of the word of God. Because that is what we have to do as believers. When we have things that are lies present in our lives, then we have to confront it with the truth of the word of God and demolish those things and replace it with the truth of who God is. And so what am I telling you to do today? What am I telling you to do as you go throughout your week? I'm telling you to be in the word, understand the word, have a relationship with the Lord. If you don't know where to start, say, Lord, would you help me? Lord, would you show me where to start? Even if you have your phone, you can go to your Bible app and they have a scripture of the day. There's a place to start for everybody that can get you in relationship with the word because you being in relationship with the word is going to change your life. It's going to change everything for you and you'll be able to identify the places where you've surrendered to idols, the places where you've surrendered to false images so that you can fully walk in who God has called you to be because God wants to show forth his glory through you. And so in order for him to do that, you have to remove every distraction, every blockage, every resistance that has put itself up in that place and say, God, I surrender myself to you. I want you to know that I care. We'll see you next week for another set of episodes.